Bubblegum has and always will be one of the funnest candies you can play with. Every child remembers the first time they managed to successfully blow a bubble. And most adults still blow bubbles absent-mindedly today. Well, it might be something we take for granted today, most gum flavors did not match their color originally. Typically, bubblegum was pink because it was the only color that Double Bubble, the original bubblegum, had readily available at the factory, and it just became the standard from then on. That is, until 1940 when Rainblow decided to have the color on the outside match the flavor on the inside, from then on proving that blowing bubbles doesn't need to be pink. Well, have you ever wondered how this beloved treat is made? Today, we're going to take you on a journey behind the scenes and show you how bubble gum is made. Let's start with the basics. The ingredients. Bubble gum is made up of four main components. Gum base, sugar, corn syrup, and flavorings. The gum base is the foundation of bubble gum. It is made up of various synthetic or natural materials such as rubber, wax, and resins. These materials are mixed together to form a malleable, elastic substance that can hold flavorings and sweetness. Next up is sugar. Bubble gum wouldn't be the same without its signature sweetness. The amount of sugar added can vary, but it usually makes up around 40% of the total weight of the gum. Corn syrup is also a crucial component in bubble gum production. It is used as a binding agent to help hold the gum base and sugar together. Corn syrup also gives the gum its texture and helps prevent it from becoming too sticky. Finally, we have different flavors. Bubble gum comes in various tastes, like strawberry, grape, and watermelon. These flavors get mixed into the gum base and sugar mixture when making it. Whether they're natural or artificial, the flavors are picked carefully to give the gum its unique taste. Now that we know the basics of the ingredients, Let's see how they all come together to make the final gum. Once we've got the ingredients ready, it's time to start mixing and kneading. This is where the real magic happens. First, the gum base is softened and melted in a big mixing tank. Then, we add sugar and corn syrup to it. The ingredients are heated and mixed until they become a sticky, even mass. After mixing, the gum goes into a kneading machine where it's stretched and pulled until it becomes smooth and flexible dough. This can take anywhere from 20 minutes to several hours depending on how we want the gum to feel when chewed. Kneading is important to make sure the gum is just the right consistency. If we need too little, the gum might be hard and brittle, and if we need too much, it could be soft and sticky. We check the texture, each shell elasticity, and flavor of a small sample by hand to make sure it's perfect before moving on. With the gum at the perfect texture, it's time to add the flavors and colors. This is where the real fun starts. The gum base goes into another machine where we mix in the flavors and colors. Flavors can be natural or artificial and come in liquid or powder form. We mix them carefully until they're evenly spread throughout the gum. For color, we use food grade dyes. We measure them precisely and add them to the gum base to give it the right color. Bright, vibrant colors are often used in bubble gum to make it more attractive to customers. Once the flavors and colors are mixed in, the gum goes through a series of rolling machines. These machines flatten the gum into thin sheets, which are then cut into small pieces. The size and shape of these pieces can vary depending on the brand and type of gum. Some are made into small balls, while others are cut into sticks or flat strips. After shaping and cutting, the gum is prepared for sale. The rolled out gum is cut into the desired shape using specialized equipment like stamping machines, rollers, and cutting machines. First, the gum sheets pass through a stamping machine which marks them with a logo or unique pattern. Then, they're rolled into thin strips using rollers that can be adjusted for thickness and shape. Finally, a cutting machine slices the gum into individual pieces of various shapes and sizes. Once shaped and cut, the gum is wrapped to keep it fresh and protect it from moisture. Typically, wax paper or foil is used for wrapping. 
Wrapping and packaging are essential in the gum making process. They not only safeguard the gum, but also help maintain its flavor and freshness. Machines automate the wrapping process, ensuring each piece is tightly and evenly wrapped with the appropriate amount of paper or foil. Once the gum is wrapped, it's time to package it for sale. Gum can be packaged in various ways such as blister packs, jars, and bags. Blister packs are common for single pieces, while jars and bags are used for larger quantities. Packaging is designed to catch the eye of consumers, featuring bright colors and bold graphics. Bubblegum packaging often includes fun designs and characters, especially appealing to kids. Some companies offer bubblegum in collectible tins with various designs. Manufacturers also focus on reducing waste and environmental impact. Many use recycled materials for packaging and minimize packaging without compromising product safety or quality. In conclusion, wrapping and packaging are crucial in the bubblegum manufacturing process, maintaining flavor and freshness. Every detail, from wrapping machines to packaging designs, is carefully considered. With a focus on quality and sustainability, the bubblegum industry continues to progress. Now you understand the process of making bubblegum, from ingredient selection to final packaging. We hope you found it fascinating. Each step, from mixing to shaping, plays a vital role in creating the perfect gum. It's easy to overlook the effort and skill involved in making bubble gum, but next time you enjoy a piece, pause to acknowledge the intricate process behind its creation. If you found this information fascinating, don't forget to subscribe to Factorify for more insights into the fascinating world of manufacturing and innovation.